what is up you guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm super excited because this came in let me cover my address I'm so 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 excited for this so I love anything mini like anything mini just like makes me just feel like oh like how cute this package got dropped off yesterday and I attempted to film last night but like uh, like you know the vibes were just off so I was just like you know what like I'm just gonna record tomorrow morning so that's what I'm doing today and I've been really fucking tempted to open this um, I mean I've already seen what it looks like but I've never like touched it myself I have never tried any of Jeffree Star's um, lipsticks or liquid lips I should say oh actually let me show you guys my shirt Yes, Beavis and Butthead, yes. I love this shirt, I fell in love with it. Bitch, guess where I found it? I found it at Walmart for 10 bucks and it was the last one, it was in the guy section, so I don't know, like maybe you could hit up uh, Walmart right now and hopefully they still have it, but I wasn't even in town when I found this, so I don't know, I feel like I got lucky and I just cut it up literally right before I filmed this. So I ended up paying, I believe, about $67 for this, but that was mainly because I purchased like the two-day shipping. And I think that was like an extra $15. Okay, so let me see. I have the receipt right here. Okay, so my total was $67.46. My shipping was $11.56. That was a two-day shipping. And I think it did take about maybe like five days. I want to say, yeah, like five days to get here. Yes, the bundle itself is $52. Okay, so to be honest, it looked really like way bigger. Oh my gosh, actually it is pretty big. Oh, I'm excited. I'm so excited. You guys have no idea. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I'm so weak. This is the box. I love it so much. It definitely has that PR package feel. Okay, so his normal sized liquid lipsticks run for $18 and this was $52 and making it, let's see. Okay, yeah, so each one is pretty much like $6.50. Is this skin tight? Yeah. He said that this one is limited edition and it's exclusive to the box. These are all the shades. So it is skin tight, mannequin, celebrity skin, posh spice, rose matter, Gemini, Leo, and androgyny. Um, I've never tried any of his liquid lipsticks once again, so I'm excited to feel them. And try them out if a liquid lipstick is not hydrating at all I will not wear it meaning like it's just like a layer of paint on the lips I don't like those types of liquid lipsticks I kind of like there to be like more of a lipstick feeling so they're not too dry and it, I can actually talk and feel comfortable in it so I definitely don't like the liquid lipsticks that are just like paint i hate that if you like liquid lipsticks that are more of a lipstick texture the gerard cosmetics ones are amazing those are hands down my favorite liquid lipsticks as well as um the sephora brand <sighs> okay so 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 i'm so excited <laughs> i just want to scream Not so hard. So watch these little babies. These babies. Like I just wanna like like oh you're so cute. I love mini things. Show you guys the packaging a little bit. So this is what it looks like. The little applicator is very cute and little. It's a baby. Wow. I'm all like, yeah, it's really little. <laughs> Super cute. This is the wand. I don't smell anything at all. I don't think these have a smell. So, okay, let's go. Here we go. This is a skin tight. Uh. 
I don't like nudes. I don't like nudes like this. So I do feel like this lipstick is a little bit streaky so far. Like you have to work with it a little bit. This does feel really, really, really lightweight, which is really surprising. Also, when you're applying it, it's very thin. This um, little brush applicator doesn't take out a lot of product. It's just enough for your entire lip. That's how much product comes out with it. But the packaging is really cool. I like the top. I like that it doesn't give you too much product and it doesn't lose a lot of product. Hopefully over time, it doesn't start to like build up around it. But a lot of the times with my other um, <clears throat> liquid lips, the little hole will be too big and like a lot of product escapes. So I do like that they are good with uh, saving product. Feels um, pretty good, but I don't know. I just don't really like the shade on me. I think that's just what it is. But so far, this one feels pretty good. The streakiness, there was a little bit. Nothing comes off. A little comes off but I mean why are you gonna be doing that <laughs> so I would say it's kiss proof but if you're trying to make out and like I don't know like maybe give head or something I don't think these would be appropriate now I'm going to be trying mannequin the one feels like any other ones Oh yeah, this nude is really nice. Oh, this one smell. This one does smell. The skin tight didn't really smell like anything to me. Oh, this nude is amazing. This is like my perfect nude. Wow. Oh yay, I'm so happy. Hmm. It kind of smells like, like peppermint-ish, but also like, like cupcake. Hmm. This kind of smells like, if you played the clarinet, you used to have to get like these little like ch ch uh, chapstick looking wax things to like put the, the pieces together. It smells exactly like that. I don't know if there's one specific smell to that, but hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm in love with this one completely. I feel like this is my perfect nude. It goes perfect with my skin tone and it doesn't look too pink. So this is Celebrity Skin. So I hate the way it sounds when you're applying it. I don't know if it's just me because my <laughs> lips are chapped. So it sounds like sandpaper, but it low key sounds like sandpaper when you're putting the shit on. This one is really nice also. Yeah, these are like all just like really nice nudes. So the next color that I have here is Posh Spice. This one is a little bit more gray, but it looks like it might be able to work. I don't know. We'll see. I don't. I normally don't really like gray toned lipsticks. They don't really look good on me, but hopefully this one doesn't look too gray. Oh, so far, I look like a corpse. Yeah. I do not fuck with these colors. I look like I'm freezing to death. I don't like these colors at all. I don't like these. Like, I look like my soul is gone. I legit look like my soul's gone. I can't. This is Rose Matter. Uh, this one is way more pink. Can you guys hear how it sounds? Let's see. I really, really am cringing right now. I don't like this color at all. 
I don't know, like, I just don't like pinks on me. Personally, I don't like pinks on me. It does look a little bit different now that it's fully dry. It looks a little bit more realistic. I don't know, maybe it just looked really crazy to me when it was wet, just because it looked like glossy and my lips looked huge. On to the third to last color, and this is Gemini. I'm starving. Wow. This one does feel a little bit more sticky than the other ones do, but it's still pretty lightweight. All right, so now we're on to Leo. This one better be nice, because I'm a Leo, so. But here it looks a little bit, um, I don't know, like, like meaty color. I don't know, like got in there or something. So here you go. This is such a beautiful, beautiful brown. Wow, I love this eye look. Like this eye look goes perfectly with so many different shades. So we're finally down to the last shade. This is Androgyny and this one is more of like a purpley nude type of shade. So this is androgyny. Um, okay, so let's see. Let's uh, pick and choose which ones were my favorites. So, of course, I'm pretty sure you guys already know which ones I didn't like the most. So let me just take them out. And I'll give you guys, um, let's see. I'll give you guys like 10 seconds to guess which three I eliminated right off the bat. So I'll give you some time. All right, so um, Rose Matter, I didn't like that one. Skin Tight and Posh Spice. Posh Spice was just way too gray. It made me feel like I got the soul sucked out of me. Uh, Rose Matter, I don't really like pink shades on me, but I'm sure it would look nice on somebody else. You know, it's just not really my cup of tea. So that's pretty much the only reason why I didn't really like that one. And skin tight. I just don't really like wearing this one because it's way too pink for me, like, and it's way too light as well. Top two, I would definitely choose Mannequin and Leo. Mannequin is my perfect nude. For sure, out of this entire kit, this is my perfect nude, and Leo is just a beautiful brown color. I love it so much. And um, Celebrity Skin, Gemini, and Androgyny, I definitely really liked those as well, but if I had to choose two, it would be these ones. Like, for sure, these ones are the, gonna be the ones that I carry in my purse all the time. If you're a collector, I definitely think this is a go. It's bomb as fuck. The packaging is amazing. Or if you just want to feel like you're getting a PR package, like, this is, this is what you need to get, to be really honest. I would say if you are really picky with nudes, you might want to try just like buying single ones instead of buying this entire kit. But it's really up to you if you're wanting to, um, you know, get your money's worth or whatever the case may be. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, please let me know. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in another video.